Uh, to start off this meet evening, David Gutman will share a bit about Bladder Cancer Canada. David was diagnosed with bladder cancer in 1994. He was 54 years old. Over the next 10 years, he had TERPs, BCG treatments, and tumors removed from his urethra. In 2005, he had a radical cystectomy with an ileal conduit reconstruction. He credits an amazing medical team with his survival. But David saw a need for more support for bladder cancer patients and their families. So over five years ago, along with fellow bladder cancer survivor Jack Moon, he formed Bladder Cancer Canada with the goal of assisting others in this journey to be more informed and confident of their future. David. Merci, Dale. Bonsoir et bienvenue. Merci d'être présent ce soir. J'aimerais parler français, mais c'est depuis longtemps que je parle français et je oublié les mots. So pour ça, je, je m'excuse. Um, je souhaite vous dire ce que nous sommes là pour vous. Nous pouvons vous aider. And I will now go back to my native language, and I hope I will not have. Uh, so those of you who understood, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you've got the basics that we founded the organization in 2009. It's the first and only Canadian organization that's focused on bladder cancer. And our mission is... Um, to help bladder cancer patients. And this is the most important thing we think we do, is helping you. We're here to, and I'll explain more about this in a moment. We increase awareness and we fund research. And I'll talk about more of these in, in, as we go along. Help bladder cancer patients and their support team address the day-to-day -day issues. Okay, Svi? You're going to stay with me because I'm going to go quickly here, I hope. We do patient support one-on-one -on -one with phone conversations, uh, private emails, um, hospital visits, and home visits. Um, those are how we do it on a one-to-one -one basis. You can call us. Uh, hopefully, you've got our phone number. You've got our email. We publicize phone numbers, emails, and so on, and you contact us, and we'll get back to you in English or in French. Kate Svee? Um, okay, I'm sorry, Look, can we go back there for a second? We, so in, in the, we also do patient support education, um, and uh, tonight is one of the um, types of things we do across Canada. Um, patient support groups, there's one in Montreal with Jacques Spilka, uh, and he'll be speaking to you later on, and it's a very active group, and there's five others across Canada, and we're constantly, you know, looking for people to head them up and... and and get them going. Uh, we have videos on our website. Uh, we have a website uh, as well. You'll see it in a moment. And we have a newsletter. Most of you picked up a newsletter tonight, but it's also available if you signed up with us to get it on a monthly, or I'm sorry, a quarterly basis. Um, these two books, um, they're unique, and I hope each one of you have gotten one. If you haven't, if we've run out, because we've got a wonderful attendance tonight, uh, leave your name back there. We'll make sure you get one. It's available on the website um, by a PFD, PDF download. And um, as you know, they're available, um, one for patients who are facing non-muscle -invas um, non invasive bladder cancer and those facing a radical cystectomy. They're written by patients. They've been overviewed by the doctors and I think you'll find them very helpful. Uh, our website, I referred to that a moment ago. It's, again, tous les matériels sont disponibles en français. Everything is available in English and in French. Um, and we invite you to go to our website. Uh, the French one, obviously, or not obviously, but we hope after tonight will be, be used a lot more than it has been. Um, so uh, there's a discussion forum on, on the website, as well as a lot of good information. Thank you. 
um, materials um, to make you aware and make other patients in the hospitals and clinics and so on aware um, that uh, we exist is uh, readily available. Your doctors have those cards as they are in the middle, uh, displayed in the middle, and uh, we invite people to, to come to us, uh, and that's how we make our name or ourselves make you aware that we are available. Um, public awareness is a very big thing as well. As Dale mentioned, and I'm sure most everybody in this room who was first diagnosed with bladder cancer, bladder what? And uh, we n none of us knew about it, and very few people know about it. Uh, that big sign down at the bottom is in Montreal, was in Montreal. Um, and again, these, uh, th this campaign has been going on for over two years now. Um, research is the third part of our um, mandate. Bladder cancer is the fifth most common cancer in Canada, and the same in the States, um, and it's 20th in research funding. It has been a neglected cancer for many, many years, and we are certainly trying to do something about that, and I'll talk about that in a moment as well. We're funding research projects which pursue the diagnosis, treatment, and elimination of bladder cancer. Um, we have, from the first year, actually, we had a walk in, at the end of our first year, and uh, we met in the spring, and we started funding research immediately. And we continue to fund research. Um, we, um, Dr. Sad, who will be speaking to you in a few minutes, will talk uh, perhaps about some of the research work he's done and his, uh, within his department. Um, and we funded one of the fellows that is in his department uh, last November. Here in Montreal, we held a quality of care uh, meeting with uh, 20 top urologists and other support people from across Canada came in to talk about how they can increase the, the quality of care for us bladder cancer patients. And I'll talk and again in a little bit more detail about the Canadian Bladder Cancer Information System. Uh, the Canadian Bladder Cancer Information System will improve the quality of medical care and overall knowledge about bladder cancer. And uh, the medical professionals will be able to discover important information about practice patterns and outcomes. Uh, this is a unique program. Um, it is the only one, as we know, in the world. We trust we're going to have this thing up and running, have the program, the system up and running. And uh, within a, a period of time, we hope that others across the world will start picking up on it as well. It will improve the quality of care, undoubtedly. Um, I want you to know that the database and all the programming has been done here in Montreal. Um, it, it, the, the database is maintained here. The participant hospitals across Canada feed the, the, the material, the data in here. And Dr. Kasouf, who will be talking to you, is actually heading up that whole initiative and perhaps he'll talk for a moment or so of that on that subject when he gets up. Okay. How do we fund ourselves? 86% um, of the money that we make or we, we, we get comes from internally, for, well, I say internally, it comes from our uh, members, our people who associate with us, and that is through the Bladder Cancer Walk, Awareness Walk. Svi? Um, the walk is responsible for over 80%, it's 86% of our funding, and it brings people together, they connect, they learn, and they help make a difference. Uh, the, the walk in Montreal has been held for a couple of years, and we're hoping to have a real good turnout again this year at the Parc Notre Dame de Grasse uh, on Sunday, the 20th of September, 2015. Please stay tuned, talk to other people here from Montreal. We'd love to see you come out and participate in that. It will be a fun day, it will be a, a day that you know, will bring the community together and increase the awareness. So uh, I thank you uh, again for coming out tonight. Uh, as I said, we want to support you um, and, and that's why we're here. If 
we think and, and we know, I, I believe from, from the literature I've read, when you, you join a support group or you work within a support group, um, you get better and the support group gets stronger as well. Thank you very much. I wish you very good health. Thank you, David. Thank you for coming from Toronto for our meeting tonight, and we wish you good health as well.